Hey guys, Austin here, back with another episode of Study the Greats. So usually in these videos, I'm trying to break down some kind of crazy advanced concept, which is fun, and I will continue to do that. But in this one, we're gonna switch gears and focus on something a little more elusive, and that is groove and feel. And who better to study for that than the one and only Steve Jordan. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down three different grooves from his Vic Firth Performance Spotlight video. So let's head to the computer and take a look at what he's doing. All right, this is the Steve Jordan Vic Firth Performance Spotlight video. If you haven't seen this yet, you gotta check it out. It's a classic. But let's go ahead and just jump into the first groove that he lays down, which is pretty nasty. Let's see if we can break that down. I think the main thing to focus on with someone like Steve isn't so much about what he's playing, but more about how he's playing it, which is a much more elusive topic, but we'll give it a shot here. So in this first groove, you can see that the right hand is playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, backbeat is on two and four, but the way he plays those kick drum notes is what really makes this groove feel so laid back because he swings them super hard. And if the concept of swung 16th notes is new for you, essentially what that means is the underlying subdivision is based on 16th triplets instead of straight 16th notes, which gives everything a very shuffled feel. So just to demonstrate how much this changes everything, here's what this groove would sound like if he played it completely straight. So it sounds kind of square and a little bit lame, right? But here's what that same groove sounds like with all the kick notes swung and laid back pretty far. Now I know I can't completely recreate Steve's feel there, but I just want to give you a little bit of a technical framework behind what makes that groove feel so laid back and what makes it sound the way it does. So give that one a shot, see what you can do with it. But let's go ahead and move on to the next groove and watch a clip of that. This one's got a nice driving feel to it because he shifts into playing these really strong continuous 16ths with the right hand. So let's go ahead and check it out here. All right, let's give this one a shot. Now in this one, he shifts into playing all the 16th notes with the right hand, and his technique is pretty interesting here because he uses a pretty dramatic pumping motion and kind of a power French grip position. Now the feel of this one is much closer to being completely straight, but to me, I still hear a little bit of a swing in there, but it's really tough to quantify that. I think some of that just kind of happens naturally from the, the bounce of that pumping motion. And also, again, 
he's laying those kicks back pretty far. So I'll try to recreate the feel of this one here for you so you can see how that all works. That one's got a really nice kind of driving feel to it, but to play a strong, continuous 16th note pattern like that with the right hand requires a little more physical effort than you'd think. So give that one a shot, see if you can pull it off. But let's go ahead and move on to the last groove here and watch a clip of that. For this last one, he kind of builds into it gradually, but once he locks it in and settles into it, it's got a great feel. This one is similar to the last groove in terms of the right hand playing those continuous pumping 16th notes, but the interesting thing in this one is the hi-hat openings that he puts on the first two 16th notes of each beat, and by displacing that backbeat to the end of two, it gives the groove a really uh, syncopated feel in a way. Alright guys, I hope that gives you a little more insight into some of his groove concepts and his playing style. It's tough to try to recreate his feel and pinpoint exactly what it is that makes his grooves sound the way they do, but I gave it a shot. If you want to download the transcriptions, those are linked below, and if you want to explore more of my in-depth courses, just head over to abbdrums.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.